Hey, good morning everybody. AJ here and today we're going to start doing some work over at Spring Creek Baptist Church. I've been there a while ago. Um, got a streaming system for them and we're going to be revisiting that because they actually want to add another camera to the mix so they got a ATEM switcher. So I'm going to take you along with me and see what else is going on. I really don't know <laughs> what to expect. So I'm bringing a whole bunch of extra cables and some other tools and things like that just to, because I have no idea <laughs> what I'm getting ready to step into. But um, let's go. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little tired. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try and do as much as I possibly can but I'm thinking especially with the holidays especially as well as the fact that school is gonna be closed on Wednesday through Friday and my little one's gonna be with me I think I'm not gonna do any videos for from Thursday well actually Thursday will probably but I probably won't do any regular videos I'll still do the um, Q&A with AJ on Friday um, but I may have a little less videos going on. Um, just giving y'all a heads up about that. But we do have Spring Creek. I have a lot of other supplies that are going on. So for Greater Works, I have a 150 foot EtherCon. I'm actually going to be sending a video over um, that. The audio, excuse me, um, the two receive and send channels for the speakers and for the instrument plugins doing that. So instead of running multiple XLRs, we're going to run that and then that's going to terminate on kind of like a Balin type of thing where the connections are on either end. So that's going to make it easier. So at this point, we're just going to run one SDI cable, one in it, well, two um, Ethernet cables, and then an Ethercon cable. That's the only thing that's going to go into ceiling outside of the other SDI cables that we're going to be running throughout the church. That's going to be on Wednesday. Tuesday, we're going back to Zion Chester to finish up the audio where we have to splice some um, speaker cables to run everything back to their new media booth in the fellowship hall that really <laughs> i gotta be i gotta be careful how i say this i don't believe that's gonna take very long but hey you just never know um i don't know what time i'm actually supposed to be over here i think it's probably supposed to be nine and this is a a, a little ways away so this is about a 30 minute drive so let me the little one's already at school already put some air in the tires and I think that's it. I got a bunch of packages that were supposed to be delivered yesterday, but supposedly they couldn't deliver them. Um, I don't know what's going on with that, but they're supposed to be here today. And then we have a ton of computer parts that are supposed to be here between today and Wednesday. And I also, um, Aaron actually did a video about these lights that I actually have too. This is what I was using as an accent light. That's what gives the blue background in some of my recent videos. And I have LEDs on the back of my TV. That's what gives me the red. But I am I ended up ordering another one of these because you can control both of these over Bluetooth. So I was going to get another one over here to have some better lighting. That's supposed to be here. I have a thousand feet of RG6. I have a whole bunch of connectors and the other two 100 foot pre-made SDI cables for Lebanon and I also ordered it was on sale a black magic SDI splitter which is significantly cost more but I think it actually does a better job of retiming um, hopefully if that fixes the issue at Lebanon I may not even have to use the cables and I'll just keep those cables for um, keep them there because that would be for the front PTZ that we're going to be installing next year. So we have an extra cable somewhere. I think I've stalled enough. Let's get up out of here. All right, folks, we are here here at Spring Creek. So let's get in here and see what we can do. All right, folks, so it was a little misunderstanding, but we're still going to work with it. They actually got an A10 Mini Pro. So we're going to hook up this PTZ Optics camera. We're going to mount that up here somewhere. So I'm going to need to run some SDI cable back here. I need to get some more termination um, BNC connectors. 
because uh, I was supposed to have them delivered yesterday, but supposedly they couldn't get in the mail room to deliver them. So I'm going to have to go to Lowe's to get that. I just ordered another SDI to HDMI converter because they didn't realize that that's needed for this distance. So I'm going to get the new one that I just put at my church and I bought a new one that's going to replace at my church this delivery, same day delivery. Um, I need to move all this. So I'm going to run a uh, run an Ethernet cable up here, SDI cable, and put that up there somewhere and then um, get this all connected. I don't remember the password that they changed to this so they're calling to get that. But let me bring some gear in um, as much as I can. And then I didn't bring my ladder. So I need to find out where these cables go to and um, from there. So. All right. so, like I said, I don't have any more BNC connectors. So I need to go ahead and get those. The good thing is I thought we were going to need a lift to get where we need to. We still might but as long as i run the cable where it needs to go it shouldn't be oh excuse me shouldn't be a problem um and i just got this thousand feet of cable not like i'm gonna need that right now but i do need some connectors and like i said i shouldn't have said it wasn't gonna take that long <laughs> but it's gonna take a little bit longer than i thought All right, and like I said, it was a small misunderstanding, but this will serve their purpose because they do other stuff around here. So the idea is this will be here inside the sanctuary, but when they record in different locations, all they have to do is pull this. They're using a Rode Wireless Go for a, a lapel mic, so that would go here, and then the Panasonic 4K can be moved around with this tripod anywhere, so it serves their purpose. And then we just connect that with internet, and boom. Now they can stream anywhere. So I need to pull some cable here. Um, and he, uh, Pastor Cooper pretty much wanted me to wire as if they were gonna go with the television HD studio um, in the future, which really isn't a big deal. I just gotta run the Decklink 4K that's inside of the system that I built them, streaming system. Um, the deck link is not going to be used, but when they do go to the HD television studio, I mean television studio HD, when they go there, they will be leveraging that. So I'm going to pull a cable that I already made um, that was left over from Lebanon. That's what I'm going to run and connect to the SDI in on that and run it over here to where I'm assuming the box is going to be and be able to go from there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install the ATEM software. Because they're going to need that, obviously, to talk to this one or the Atom Television Studio. And while this is running, they're going to start pulling some cable. Now, the pastor is going to get the remote that they purchased for this. And I need to wait and see what type of remote is it. Um, I don't know if this can be controlled over um, IP. I don't believe it is. If it isn't, they might not be happy. Um, what we need to do is kind of like what I did at Good Shepherd. We need to get a converter that would turn the RS-232 um, controls for the camera into Ethernet and then run an extra Ethernet to cover this distance and then convert it back once it goes to the joystick. Again, I'm on, he said he's going to be back in like 15 minutes, so we're going to have to find out then. I'm just going to go ahead and pull an extra cable anyway. Um, because it's going to need that distance even if it is RS-232 I doubt they have a long enough cable to go all the way up there where that's going to go so and I need to figure out how to get up here and pull this extra cable they said it's dropping over to the wall somewhere so I did pull get my pull string and that should work all right so thankfully chasing the cable that was going to the front found the ladder yay um, so I'll be able to fish these cables up through the wall. Um, but while I was doing that, it looked like the Ethernet cable for the iMac was actually damaged. So I am terminating a new cable for that, updating the A10 Mini Pro. Uh, and then um, I chased the cable. Now I just got to find it up in the ceiling somewhere. And then drop down an SDI cable, drop down two um, Cat 6 cables. 
and I think I'm gonna put a jacket or a boot on one of them so I know which one is which and then fish it all the way up to the front and go from there. Pull two Cat 6 and one RG6 here and route it up. One of them is going to be just for internet. The other one is going to be for the control that we're going to convert to RS-232. And that's about it. So I actually ran out of cable, so I need to pull that thousand foot spool, pull a coupler in between that to continue this. I hope I don't run out of ethernet cable, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. So far, we're up and over here. This is gonna go over that lip right there and over here. And the current run that we got gets us all the way to here. So we got about another maybe 30, 30 feet to go because we're ultimately going to mount this on the wall but there's not enough cable for that right now so literally if we mount it on the wall we need to put a hole on this side to come through the cables and it'll be right there so so SDI cable we should be fine Ethernet as long as I got another 20 feet, I should be fine. Worst case scenario, I would just have to put a coupler on the other one that's for the internet. I'm not going to do the one. I don't want to put a splice in between the one for the control. I don't know. It could be either one. Because I know I have plenty of blue cable left. I just don't know how much white cable that I have. Nah, not that much. It might be enough. I'm just not sure. So, um, yeah, we gotta see. I mean, I do have plenty of other white cable here. I might make a shorter cable for this and do a, do a coupler on here and this will be fine. But we shall see. Let me, I'm running short on time. I gotta go all the way back to my church, go to Lowe's, then come back here um so it's going to be like a, an hour round trip so uh, let me let pastor cooper know and then we'll be on our way all right another change of plans but this is for a phase two ultimately looking at putting another ptz but that would be in the front um and then Honestly, at that point, I'm almost thinking about pulling another cable just to prepare if we're going to do that. But thankfully, this is going to go on the other side, so I don't need to run it with the bundle of cables that I just did. Now, I need to hurry up and get to church to pull the SDI to HDMI converter that I just recently got, <laughs> that I was using, um, that I took mine. that I took from my church to do at Lebanon. And then the new ones I put at my church. Now I'm pulling those again and um, putting that here because the other one is gonna be a same day delivery. And the one I'm taking from church is gonna be replaced with the one I just bought. But I need to order another one um, for their back TV as well as an SDI splitter. Thankfully, I do have an SDI splitter. I have two at Lebanon, but I also ordered a Black Magic one. Um, depending on what's going on with Lebanon with the TVs, I got the more expensive SDI splitter thinking that it was a sequencing thing or something like that. If that works, the Black Magic one will go there. The SDI one that I had originally at my church will go back to my church, and then. Um, and then uh, the one, the extra one that I had for Lebanon is gonna go here. So that would handle the splitting of everything here. So I really 
wish these adapters would come and then if they were delivered then I don't have to go buy them at Lowe's which are overpriced let me check my Amazon delivery to see if they got delivered because if they do I'm just gonna stop by my apartment grab those get the converter cable and then um, come right back here and finish up as much as we can all right so we got the very last pack of uh, RG6 BNC connectors here at this Lowe's that's close to the church um, might need to stop and get another one um, I just don't like the fact that I only have four and I got to use all of them because we need to crimp off the one that's in the ceiling put on another one at the other end that's two and then the one that's actually connects to the camera and then we also have the one that connects to the SDI to HDMI converter so no pressure <laughs> I'd rather have some more but I don't know maybe the other stuff will be delivered by the time I get near my apartment then we should be good alrighty folks we got everything temporarily set up um, we have all this extra cable pulled and you can see it's temporarily in the places that it needs to go ideally I'm gonna put this in the jack against the wall but we need to test to see they say supposedly that we can do a firmware update on the PTZ optics camera that we have that will make the IP controller work with it so we're getting ready to test that I'm trying to get this stool out of the way so we temporarily have the cable now we have solved the issue too this is the ca the camera set up up here but we used the same cables that weren't working at Lebanon so we know they work so it must be the other cable that's in the wall or something so I don't know but let's go up here update this firmware and I'm running really late because I need to go get my daughter and all that other fun stuff so but we're gonna be back to mount this stuff later all right so I'm running late but we got everybody tentatively set up here we got to come back um, the the controller does not work so they're gonna be um, returning that one put another controller the same one that we did at like Good Shepherd and have a RS232 to control the camera that's up there that does work the cables work all of this needs to be prettied up but everything is there um, we got the pro presenter working directly with the ATEM and just working on the mindset of how the different workflow is going to be different and I'm running late so I got to go get the little one before she beats me up and I guess I'll bring y'all back if I'm back here I don't know so we'll see all right, so that was a very productive day, but it just shows the importance of you really need to see, develop a workflow for what you're gonna do when you're getting all this equipment. The ATEM Mini, ATEM Mini Pro, just in those devices show you a different layer of how things will work. And when you only look at it in a surface level, without really thinking of your workflow, this could or could not work. Now, my idea is because I helped them with their initial workflow, I knew what they were doing, and I was able to retrofit this in, even though me personally, I recommended something different. But, you know, we can still make it work. Um, they got a bunch of HDMI cables, some other things that need to be done as well to get this stuff working. Um, SDI splitter to repurpose, because the idea is I'm still thinking in the future. So the idea is, yeah, they were using the stage display, but since not that many people are there, there's really no need for right now. So we're going to rewire everything to where there's a SDI to HDMI converter that goes directly to that TV and then run the cable and run it off of a splitter for right now but then ideally it's going to be that now that is going to be repurposed with the ATEM television studio HD or whatever equivalent because um, I'm sure they're, they're kind of due to a refresher to that um, product from Blackmagic but the idea is that they have that to repurpose that 
run that back monitor to an aux out and then they can still give the same um, features that they want but coming out of pro presenter we would run two additional outputs from the mac mini into the i mean excuse me the imac into the atem television studio so now you have the program the regular audience out and you have the stage out kind of like how i have mine set up now even though we're not using that because um, I have the exact same thing that I need to do is go SDI out from the aux into an um, SDI to HDMI converter. But then again, um, what I'm probably going to do is run mine into a H up down cross HD, which will convert it into HDMI, put it at the right resolution that's supported by that projector. And then I still got to convert it again to VGA because there is no connection there right now um which stinks but hey um that's kind of where we're at right now and we're just trying to retrofit what we currently have if i had it my way i would gut it and put everything the way that we need to but again this is meant to where like a lot of people don't want to blow an entire budget or equipment that's working perfectly fine you just got to have some stuff that works in between because it's easier to get a a HDMI to VGA adapter is $15 than to get a brand new $1,500 to $2,500 projector with the lift to get up there and change everything and all that other stuff. So anyway, I am stuck in traffic, which has been a very long time since I've done <laughs> been. Um, let me get out of here, get my daughter, and then I'm getting um, asked to join a trustee meeting at my church to talk about the last video that I did about the changes that are happening with streaming on YouTube and on Facebook and talk to them about that and that's what a lot of y'all of y'all are in that that vein at your at your ministry you know you need to be aware of this stuff because everybody is not gonna understand these things and you need to be um, you're kind of the subject matter expert at, at your ministry and you need to explain this to them and that's kind of what, uh, thankfully, I'm being brought in on this call so I can actually talk about this and answer anybody's questions and get them to understand what's going on with it. But So I won't be able to just relax once we get back. <laughs> and, oh, also I got a ton of um, packages that were delivered for a bunch of computers that we're building um, for a couple of other people and churches. So, yay. <laughs> But, hey, I'd rather be busy than have nothing going on. But um, we will see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be back at Zion Chester to finish up the cabling with their sound system. Get all those cables done. And they have the adapters as well to the SDI to HDMI, HDMI to SDI to cook up how we did everything to their projector. Get that done. That project will be finished. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna be going to Greater Works to pull cable again and design the whole layout of their new sanctuary of how video distribution is gonna go, sound distribution, and everything like that. So we will see y'all tomorrow, later.